Hi there. Today I'm at James Suckling's Great Wines of the World event in Miami Beach in Florida. Um, and uh, one of the wines that really stood out for me today at this tasting, and I thought I would share with you, um, and this is Le If um, from saint emilion It's a 2018 vintage. Um, it's a curious name, Le If. Um, the uh, estate is owned by um, Jacques Tiempont, uh, who also owns Le Pain. Um, so he has Le Pain. Um, Le If is in uh, saint emilion uh, whereas Le Pain is in Pomerol. Um, so it's slightly new departure for the, um, for the family. Um, but again, the idea was to have a small property where they're producing as high a quality wine as possible. Um, the wine is a blend of 25% um, of Cabernet Franc with 75% of Merlot. Um, and it's made by uh, Cyril Tiempon. Um, and basically, I suppose, the, ex the, the approach is that no expense is spared. And this wine stood out for me today because it's, it's made in a delicate, elegant way. Um, we also tasted the, the 2019 next to it, and that was much more rich and a wine meant for long ageing. But this, this wine ha has an elegance and a freshness that I really enjoyed, so I, I thought I'd talk to you about that. Firstly, to talk about the colour. It's a fairly deep colour, it's, it's not opaque. Um, a nice dark ruby with a, a purple hint at the rim, given it's 2018, it's, you know, so it's still quite youthful for a wine of, of that age, it seems. Um, the aromas, the aromas have a sort of a rich, almost sort of raspberry jam sort of note. Um, there's a freshness, a sort of a, a slight vanilla note and also some sort of sweet spice perhaps coming from oak there. I would imagine there's a fair amount of new oak going into the wine. Um, tasting it. What I enjoy about this is the freshness of the wine. The fruit is made really juicy. It becomes sort of juicy mulberry, um, juicy raspberry, and again that sort of slight vanilla note they're almost like vanilla ice cream over the fruit um, there is a structure it's a fine structure it's it uh, the wine's only of mid weight it's it's not um, full-bodied or heavy um, the alcohol seems balanced and yet it says it's 14 14 percent on the on the on, on the um, on the label so that's simply the intensity of the fruit um, balancing the alcohol out there the tannins, as I say, are fine, they're not astringent. The finish is still juicy. It's got that lovely sort of juicy red fruit note and, and touches of spice. So yeah, um, a wine that's probably for earlier drinking, but really, really attractive and appealing now due to its just its balance, its poise, and its freshness. So thank you for joining us, and uh, if you found the video interesting, do please watch again. Bye now.